Yeah, I think um, just being as me being a point guard, I think I think it's up to me to just set that tone and to get guys those shots. I think the game before, I think I did a bad job of just I was rushing things and just I was just kind of moving too fast and. So my intention coming into this game was to just, you know, be that point guard and make sure that I was getting guys shots and just just not forcing anything, just letting it come to me. Um, after that electric first half, there was a little bit of a fight back from Bristol after half time. They took the third quarter by 14 points to 20. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we did we did slip up a little bit. We uh, we didn't come out with the same intensity, but, you know, that's just something we need to work on as a team in practice. But I think we did a good job of of uh, uh, just cutting their run a little bit short. So, yeah, I, th I think we did a good job of that. Yeah, as you mentioned, though, you did close out the game yeah. down the stretch very comfortably with an 18-12 final quarter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bristol, we're coming into the game after a big 96-54 win over Glasgow last night. So it shows there's okay. no easy games, no easy teams in the BBL. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a lot of good competition in, in, uh, in the league. So um, I think if we just come out with that same intensity like we did in this first half, if we do that, consistently for the whole game every time I think we have a good chance against anybody uh, moving on to the MVP tonight there are a couple of couple of big performances I'd like to mention first uh, Antoine Lillard with 19 points and yeah. six rebounds yeah yeah and Antoine he's a dog man he, he you can always count on him to just give his all on the court and I think having a teammate like that it takes a lot of pressure off off everybody else but um yeah Antoine is somebody that he's just going to go out there and do what he does he, he doesn't really worry about too much else uh, Kipper Nichols with 17 points, a rebound and three assists. Great game from Kip. Yeah, yeah, Kip too. Kip is another guy. He, he doesn't complain. He just does his job. Um, he, he's always talking to me, always always keeping me comfortable on the court. So um, Kip and Antoine, that, those were the two guys who did a good job of helping uh, me be comfortable when I got here. Yeah, obviously the, uh, the MVP tonight is certain Jeremy Hemsley with 18 points, eight rebounds, seven assists and three steals, filling up the stat line. <laughs> See, I didn't know that, but... Yeah, I just, I just try to go out there and do my job. I have fun tonight. Um, how how do you feel you fitted into the roster so far? Um, how far do you feel that you're um, being from being totally comfortable with all the plays? Yeah, no, I I, I think um, this game was the first game where I felt 100% comfortable with everything coach was calling. Uh, like I said, I, I did a bad job in the previous games of just getting everybody in the right spots and just being a vocal point guard. So that was my intention. I, I felt a lot more comfortable out there today. Um, the Sharks have got some great options in the guard positions now. How good does it feel to be able to put three quality guards on the floor at any one time? Yeah, no, it, it feels good. Like I said, um, we, we could just go out there and be comfortable because we have a lot of talent and we have a lot of guys who, who know the game of basketball. So um, I think no matter who we have on the court, I think we could all be comfortable with who's out there. Uh, some huge dunks tonight. Um, I've got a question for you. Who's the better dunker, Kiffin Nichols or Antoine Lillard? Um, or another candidate. Yeah, I'm gonna say me to be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say me. I, I think they would agree too. I, I'm, I got, a, I got a lot in my bag that I could do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, another thing we're noticing, we're getting a lot of love on social media from uh, San Diego State. Okay. We're we turning these guys into sharks. Fans? Okay. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I don't have a Twitter or nothing, uh, so I, I don't really see those kind of things. But yeah, uh, San Diego State fans, they. They're loyal, so uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, a final question. Tonight, uh, uh, next week, you go up to Glasgow, one of the longer away yeah. road trips. Um, how do you feel that game will go? Um, I, I, I feel comfortable with, with whoever we're playing. Uh, I, we have a great coaching staff. We got a great team. Um, I know it's a far trip, but, I mean, this is what we signed up for. We just got to go out and be ready, but I'm confident. Uh, enjoying your pro career so far? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm very thankful to just. I'm thankful to just be playing basketball for real. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank We're you. Enjoying seeing you in Sheffield. Thank you. Thank you.